Ford Ranger used as a tractor to plant a food plot. William Hovey Smith, 2017. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, and here we're actually planting our plots prior to hunting season. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. My Ford Ranger outdoor truck has helped me do many things. It has carried game. It's taken me to distant places to hunt. It has carried my gear on long trips, and I have occasionally even uh, slept in it. But right now, we called upon it to do a new duty. I am in my food plot right now, and I have three lawn tractors, and I got one of them stuck in this plot. So I use the winch on the front that you'll see in a little bit to get it out and get it back home and then finished planting my food plot and covering using my Ford Ranger as a lawn tractor. Well, its size and comparatively light weight kept me from bogging down in this sandy, dry soil. Uh, although we had rain, oh, five or six days ago, uh, the soil is now just powder dry. So it's ideal for planting but it's awful easy to get things stuck in if you slow down. What I have is a drag on the back for covering. And I've been using that, and I'm going to make a pass and show you how I did it. But first off, let's close up the truck, and I'll show you the front and the winch, and then what I've got hooked up on the rear. Now you see the front of the truck and the winch. Of course, I have my squirrel rifle back there. I left this in the field overnight. And uh, you also see the deer guard I put on it. On this Ranger, which is the last year of manufacture, uh, all the front end is plastic. So I put some steel out there to keep fending off the deer and anything else I might run into. I have hit two deer in my life, and I really want some steel out there. And now I'll show you the drag in the back. In the meantime, my puppy dogs have found them something that smells sort of good out there. Yeah, something is buried in that soil that they're interested in, and they're going to dig out, I suspect. Yeah, it's in there. Now this is the drag I used. Basically, it's two by sixes with some plywood and a concrete block, as well as a mound of soil I've just dug up. Uh, it planes fairly well, and you can see the ground I've worked further up in the food plot. It's not billiard flat, but that's not the intention. The intention is to cover the seed. I also used a seed scatterer, which I'll show you to scatter the seed initially as well as the fertilizer. This is a unit I use to put out the seed. It has a hopper and it has an adjustable gate here that determines how much seed you put out. Uh, two inflated wheels uh, which go flat right regularly. They are not particularly good. And I just tied this on to the back of my trailer hitch and that worked well enough to get the job done. I'm going to take a turn around the field so you can see this drag in action. Well, nothing very spectacular, but it gets the job done. 
This drag is made of two sections of 2x10s, sheet plywood, and pulled by a cable. Uh, that's a quarter inch cable, and I use a concrete block in the rear for added weight. For now, this is Hovey Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe. Goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. Among my prize winning outdoor books are backyard deer hunting, crossbow hunting, practical bow fishing, and extreme muzzleloading. I also have a series of e-books, such as shooting and maintaining your muzzleloader, hunting with muzzleloading shotguns and smoothbore muskets, and hunting big and small game with muzzleloading pistols. Now the spot on the center of the lens is condensate on an interior lens, and those things buzzing around in front are gnats. <laughs> Both of these are artifacts of filming in the Deep South in August. For more information on my books, blogs, and more than 650 videos, you can go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.